Hi, good morning. My name is Cynthia Toll and I'm the nurse at Camp Meyer Elementary. I'm Jody Hunley and I'm the nurse at Moy Elementary. Hi, I'm Dana. I'm the nurse at J.E. Hinchcliffe Elementary. I'm Katie Jones and I'm the nurse at Cariel Junior High. Hi, my name is Susan and I'm the nurse at Fulton Junior High. Hi, I'm Erin and I'm the nurse at Marie Schaefer Elementary. <laughs> Hi, District 90 students and families. My name is Carrie Jenkins and I'm your nurse at Laverna Evans. You've just met our outstanding team of nurses. Here at District 90, we're fortunate that we have seven nurses, so we have a nurse in each building. This is great for us because it helps us to build relationships with our students, and also we get to be familiar with their medical history and any conditions and problems that they may have that we can help them work through. Our nurses all have hospital experience, but we come from different nursing specialties. This is just another reason why I think we make such a great team. Collectively, our nursing team has 106 years of nursing experience. We have ongoing communication with each other daily, so we're always coming up with new thoughts and ideas. We're resources for each other and truly work together to take care of all of our students. Many of us at District 90 are also parents, and ultimately, we came here to care for the kids in our community. So what do school nurses do? We gather student records and information from parents and doctors to ensure that students are growing in a healthy way. We review immunization records. That means we make sure that students have gotten shots to help protect them. We make sure that students are seeing their dentist and their eye doctor, and we coordinate dental clinics to come to our schools. Students may get a hearing or vision screening from one of our nurses at our schools. Students, this is when you look into our machine and you tell us a letter or shape that you may see. For hearing screening, you'll put on headphones and we'll ask you to raise your hand when you hear a beep. School nurses may work with physicians to develop individualized healthcare plans for some of our students. This is just to ensure that we're taking the very best possible care of you when you're with us. We work with students taking medication at schools. We talk with the students about their medication, when and how it needs to be taken. We teach students with new diagnoses about their condition and what we can do to help. We train staff annually about chronic conditions such as allergies, diabetes, and what to do in emergency situations. We train on EpiPens and all the different varieties. And we also train on what we would do in a diabetic emergency. We teach staff how to stop bleeding, whether it's a small bleed or a large one. We teach about seizure protocols, asthma management, and again, what to do in emergencies. We train our staff in CPR. Each nurse in District 90 is a member of their building and district crisis team, as well as the city of O'Fallon's crisis team. Each year, we, each day, I'm sorry, we care for each of our students and staff members when they aren't feeling well or if they've been hurt. So we may ask to look into your eyes with a flashlight. We may put this on your finger to make sure that your breathing is okay. We'll take your temperature when you walk into the door. And we may ask to look into your ears or you may come to get a fun necklace when you lose your tooth. This year we've been doing some extra work too. We've created spaces in our schools to care for students who are ill with a fever or have symptoms of an illness that we don't want to give other students or staff members. These spaces are separated from well students who need their daily med medication or maybe just scrape their knee on the playground. We've been ordering PPE. That stands for personal protective equipment. This is to make sure that we're all safe. When you come back to school, we will all be wearing masks and you will have a desk shield. It's kind of, kind of like a windshield in your car. You may see that your teachers have on face shields along with his or her mask. And again, these are just extra barriers to keep us safe from germs. Our nurses have also been busy learning just like students do. We're on Zoom meetings with doctors and nurses in the health department areas workers in our area. We're attending webinars and reading new studies and taking courses so that we can take the best care of you when we all are together again. Contact tracing is something you may have heard of lately. 
It means that we learn how to make sure that when someone who is sick doesn't get other people sick. While you're at home, you may hear from us nurses or see us in a different way. We may call your home to check up on you and make sure that you're doing well. You may see us in your neighborhoods delivering lunches, or you may see us setting up flu clinics or blood drives in our community. We want you to be part of our team. When you're at home, practice wearing your mask. When you come to school, wear a freshly washed mask and bring an extra one in your backpack. Set a timer by your sink at home. Make sure that you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds. That's about how long it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Parents, please share information with us and keep communication open. We can take the best care of our students when we know all about them. Stay home when you're not feeling well. Together we'll make a great team and we will stay healthy and stay learning this school year. Thank you.